let's get into your squad. Okay. Seemed like you're missing uh, Peyton a little bit. Go from the Super Bowl to not making the playoffs. Yeah. What broke down with your team? Uh, you know what? I I don't think anything broke down. We just couldn't get that that start we needed. You know, to to last through the season. Um, we had some tough injuries we had to deal with, and like you said, PM gone. You know, he's probably one of the greatest leaders to ever play this game, and missing him, you know, was huge. I have one question before the guys jump in here. So Peyton Manning, not a lot of people respected him in his last season. Obviously, they said he looked like a shell of himself. You guys were still able to to win uh, the Super Bowl. Do you think he deserves more credit now when you see what happened when he was gone based on the quarterbacks that you had? I mean, I think he deserves all the credit in the world. I mean, whenever we need a big play, he always came through, and that's what makes him so special. Whatever the situation was throughout the game, when we needed him to make that play or that last drive, he always came through, and, and we got it, and we got it done. What does it feel like right now to have just won the Super Bowl the year before and be watching it now, like not even having made the playoffs. Can you describe that feeling? Uh, I don't feel good. You know, watching the playoffs from home, it was tough. It was tough, especially, you know, we, we were capable of being in this game again. Uh, we just didn't get it done. I look at you guys this way. Got love for y'all on the defensive side of the ball. Got a bunch of rough riders up in there. Y'all proved yourselves. Offensively, you didn't have PM. I mean, you got to go with Trevor Simeon, Paxton Lynch. Nobody's going to call out the youngsters because they're just young. I look at y'all as having a lot of faith in John Elway, but we heard about reports where the locker room appeared to be divided. The defense was fighting with the offense. What can you tell us about how things have had regressed during the season because of y'all struggles? Um, I think it was a little bit over-exaggerated, the situation. Um, in the locker room, but you know we got a, a team full of competitors. We got feisty guys, and all we want to do is go out there and win. And you know sometimes you have little altercations, you know, within the family. But you know it's all about getting better. I actually liked it because my whole point is this: if if I'm if I got a defense that just propelled me to a championship, because clearly that was what transpired, and those boys returned, and you looking at guys on the other side of the ball and they ain't getting it done in a physically violent sport like football, I got attitude. <laughs> I got attitude. I don't see any problem with it. So I get where you're coming from. Yeah, I'm very vocal, so sometimes I get emotions get the best of me myself. But you know, it's part of the game, man. You're on the sideline, you're playing a physical, violent game, and you know, you just want to win. You're putting so much energy and effort into winning, and when it doesn't come out your way, you know, sometimes it's frustrations. Maybe a guy like Tony Romo could help you. <laughs> uh, maybe. Are you open maybe. to that? You know what? Tony's a great player, but uh, you know we got two good quarterbacks and they're young, but you know they're gonna get better and progress. Uh, but you know, it, 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 I, I'm not a GM. Yeah, I just play football. I feel you <laughs> on that, but I got a question for you as a defensive player and somebody who's like a hit man. You don't mind putting some wood on somebody? If you were playing against a, an opposing quarterback mm -hmm. and you heard about his history of back problems, how would you feel about going up against that quarterback? Oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to do my best to make sure that, that injury is still there. <laughs> right, right, right. So y'all go ahead and want Tony Romo all y'all want to. That's terms, all I got to say.